So we're gonna build the scene together. Hopefully, um, we're gonna get you guys up and being taking a job, uh, doing this, doing something with the scene. Hopefully, it's something that like maybe you didn't do before. You know, maybe, like um, Aaron's gonna help out, help out with sound. So maybe you can jump on and put your sound hat on and try out boom pole maneuvering or trying to uh, use the Dana and kind of catch what the action is with our beats on the camera. But we're gonna kind of build everything up. Um, personally, I think that everybody should kind of be a little bit of everything. You should have a lot of different hats. You should kind of know a little bit about everything. There was a famous director, I think it was David Fincher said that it was great to do a lot of the different things so then when he became a director, he could tell if somebody was just being lazy or they actually couldn't do something. So he'd be like, oh, can we put a camera down there? And some lazy guy would be like, no, 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 we can't do it. And he knew that you could actually do it. The guy was just being lazy, so. I don't know, I thought that was funny. Anyway, um, so we are gonna do um, a scene written by Wes Anderson and I believe Jason Swartzman wrote this. But what we're gonna do is kind of go through kind of how you build the scene, right? Um, okay, so, and pretending you didn't see the scene, we're gonna just like start from the ground up. We're gonna like figure out what to do. So kind of the first thing we wanna do is bring in our actors and we're gonna kind of read the scene, just kind of do like a table reading and we're gonna figure out kind of like what the characters are, feel a little bit about like what we think is going on. Uh, so, you are Francis. I oh, am. Yeah. And you are Pete. Uh, yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna play Jack. So, anytime you're ready. Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something? What? But you don't have permission to take his property that belongs to all of us and use it for yourself. That's if it's yours. Jack agrees with that, right, Jack? Plus, Dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. I knew it well. That's a terrible thing to say. I, I don't mean it to be. I just mean that, like, I don't want you to think you were better friends with him than we were or something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with that, too. Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me that. Blood all over him, lying in the street right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Right. Francis! Here's your belt. And throw in a belt. So, how do we feel? Feel like we're... We're brothers, we're, dif we're dysfunctional, or we're siblings, I guess. What direction do you think you want to go? Um, I think it's interesting, like, the, there's definitely an element of, like, an age dynamic in here. Mm -hmm. Who's the oldest and, like, the has the most authority, who feels like they have the most authority. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Who's so, kind of shy, who's yeah. kind of, like, passive-aggressive, or yeah. would, like, leave, or, like, have to resort to violence kind of thing. Yeah. So, good. Okay, okay, yeah. good. Maybe we could, um, so kind of some tips about talking to actors, you really don't want to, are you, you want to talk about like feelings, backstories, discuss like, you know, maybe, you know, who's the youngest? I don't know, maybe I was the youngest, I'm kind of like, yeah, I say that is, you know? Okay. Maybe one's the oldest, maybe Francis is the oldest, kind of a bully kind of thing, see some like gaslighting going on maybe. Yeah. Manipulator kind of thing. Um, one thing you don't want to do is if you're the director or anybody, you don't want to line read somebody's performance. So you don't want to say like, oh, can you just say, uh, is that dad's razor? It's kind of insulting to, a, to an actor. You don't really want to like do their job for them. And also actors are creative people. They have their own kind of backstories. You know, they can surprise you with like, what they, what they can do and like what they feel about the character. A better way to do it is to say something like, you know that first line, um, do you feel like that's a little more standoffish? Or is it like, really he didn't know if it was Dad's Racer or not? He knows it's Dad's Racer, yeah. he's just kind of like- Picking going, a like, fight. Yeah, picking a fight. It's good, he's going out of his way, he's picking a fight. Like that. All right, so, uh, yeah, and, and you guys have any comment, like what do you like to hear from people, you know, reading with you or 
Give me comments. I think that you definitely hit the nail on the head with the figuring out the backstory and also moving forward, the, the objective, like not just what is behind the lines, but what are the lines doing to move the scene forward? We, you know. Yeah, because I feel like at certain points, like Francis, like you said, is trying to pick the fight, right? He's kind of, you know, saying these things to, you know, kind of piss off Pete. He's trying to get Jack to be involved. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're outnumbering him here, mm -hmm. right? Trying to like outnumber him, um, talk down to him a little bit. So I think certain times when like Pete gives it back to him, you know, like Francis might be like, you know, walking away a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can talk about that when we're talking about yeah. walking, you know? And then he thought of something, then he comes back with kind of a jab. Yeah. So, you know, something to think about when we talk, uh, talk about blocking. Speaking of blocking, you want to kind of think about how people are going to move through the scene. So maybe we should go through it and yeah, sure. you, let's all kind of be here and then we can kind of figure out where, where people will move. Yeah. So let's do one where you kind of feel where you're going and then we can kind of talk about like where we could go differently. Sure. Sure, sure. So let's start here and then let's read it again. Yeah. Can I say something? What? You can't just take Dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it as if it's yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Plus, Dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. I knew him well. It's a terrible thing to say. Well, I, I don't mean it to be. I just mean that I don't want you to think you were better friends with him than we were. Something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with that, too. Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me. When he was covered in blood, lying in the street, right before he died. How was that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. What? Why? Hey, Francis! Here's your belt. So I think that's cool. Hiding away, you know, he's kind of like maybe like an avoidant type of guy, so he's like, or lady. Um, you know, so Francis kind of gets the better of him mm -hmm. and then like wants to go hide and then comes back with that attack. I like that. That's good. I really like what you're doing here. I feel like you can kind of do that when you come back in, maybe. Yeah, know, sure. You, you're coming back in and you're kind of like casual. You're like, you're like well, you know, I'm just, I'm just saying do you, the truth. Yeah, yeah, do you feel like that's the kind of thing the character would do that uh, says something kind of lousy uh, to get a rise out of, you know, the brothers and then come back and play it off as if it's, it's not about me. Yeah, you know, you guys are taking this way too seriously. Sure, sure, cool, totally. I like the way you walked away, I think that's great. It's like, you're like licking your wounds for a little bit, or like thinking of the next mm -hmm. jab you can do, because you're yeah. like, come right Which back in with the jab. clearly why you, I bring up the, the thing about your wife, it's so out of left field. It's super yeah. out it's, like, it's just like, it's yeah. the lowest of the blows. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like if you come back and, you know, maybe like, you're like casual about it, maybe stick your head down, you're mm -hmm. gonna, bam. Yeah, <laughs> got it. But I mean, I think also like, coming in, and you're like, you, I don't know like, if you want to do it like um, like very confrontational that first line, okay. or like, kind of like... Do you want to see what that looks like? Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do the first... The first line. If you're, the, the first couple lines. Yeah. Sure. Sit. Right, so, here. Yeah, so this time, I guess I'll start um, assuming I know that it's Dad's razor. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you're going to pick that fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. True profession. I only have one word left. <laughs> Is that that to myself? Yeah. Can I say something? What? Well, you just don't have permission to use Dad's property that belongs to all of us as if it's yours, right, Jack? Jack agrees. 
Besides, Dad would have hated it. So, let me stop you there. I like the glance over here. I feel like that's good. Because you're like, are you getting it up on me too? You know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh. And then I feel like I could kind of shrug, and then you could look back and be like, it's like that. And then that's, yeah, and that, that's what's defeating me. Yeah. yeah, so I have to throw something. Because I'm like totally like, I'm like a blob. I'm like, stop. Are, are you like a blob, like, uh, stop? Or are you like a blob where you just don't care to get involved? I feel like by the end, I kind of grow a pair because I ask for something back. But yeah. it's kind of in a, I'm doing it in kind of like a timid way because I feel like that yeah. like you would do that. But, yeah. Yep. If. <clears throat> oh, oh, hmm. Can we do it again where I don't it's, know that it's when, when you don't know it's Dad's razors and you're not trying to pick a fight? Yeah, absolutely. Be careful. Yeah, yeah, just see how that feels. Yeah. Okay. Is, is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Well, can I say something? What? Well, you don't have permission to take his property that belongs to all of us, and he's just, it's just yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Besides, I would have hated him. Why? It's just my opinion. I knew him well. That's a terrible thing to say. Well, I didn't mean to be terrible. I just mean that, I don't know, I don't want you thinking that you... You knew him better than we did, or we're better friends, or something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with that, right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me so when he was covered in blood, lying in the street right before he died. Ah. I want my passport back. Hey, Francis! Here's your belt! So I liked everything. I think as soon as you hear my line, mm -hmm. just start coming out. Okay. Because we have enough, we're, I mean, we're gonna look at each other like, mm -hmm. until you do something, so they could just whoosh, whip right out. Sure. Um, I feel like you should tell me, um, that's a terrible thing to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're, I don't think you're thinking that they're gonna give you any leeway. No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like you'd be like, to me, I, you know, I'd give you a little bit of something. Like, like we had had a conversation earlier. Sure. Where we were like, he just says terrible stuff right. all we the know time. That he, we know that he's right. Right? Yeah. It's like, yeah. that is a perfect example well, of a terrible thing he said. I don't think my character likes hearing that. <laughs> that there's a third party conversation happening. Right, right. That kind of gets you. Yeah. I think that, like, this was the run where we weren't trying to be confrontational. Correct. And I actually really liked it better than the I can show a little, I think a little more anger on your... Like, you can be inquisitive, but I feel like you should be like... Turn up that anger right away. Okay, this is... Yeah, this is an interesting threat, though. I like mm -hmm. yeah. what, you're, what you're both saying. That sometimes, um, to get uh, an actor to do a thing... Mm -hmm. Um, a great way to go around about it is have them do the opposite, withhold the, the instinct to do the thing. So mm -hmm. when you're uh, watching an actor mm -hmm. uh, on stage and they, they cry really, really hard and you don't feel anything, it's because they're doing all of the work for you. One of the things that you're taught when you're in acting school <laughs> um, is like... Fasting school. <laughs> um, the way to portray something, really anything, is to try and relieve yourself of it. Yeah. So if you are trying to make it look like you're cold, the way to do that is to like attempt yeah. to warm yourself up. Mm. If you are trying to play fatigued, like trying to rid yourself of fatigue, so mm. having a situation where it's like trying to stay awake have coffee. Read. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So the the relieving yourself of the uncomfortability dis or the you know the truth or whatever is the thing that drives it forward. 
But Which begs the question, like, what is so uncomfortable about having this conversation? Right. And I think that it's... This run-through made me realize, I think, for the first time, with you not being confrontational, and you saying, I didn't mean it that way, it, it felt genuine. Mm -hmm. Like, Francis almost doesn't know how to operate without kind of being, being a shit head. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? And it really is like, that's a terrible, like, that's a terrible thing to say. That's what I mean when it's like, he just says terrible stuff all the time, mm -hmm. and he doesn't actually mean it to be terrible. Yeah, maybe it just is. At the very least, I think it hurts him to be misunderstood if he's not actively trying to get a rise out of somebody. Right. Sure. Yeah. But then we have what you just said, which is get more anger. Right. Where, I think where a little bit. I think it's, it's, yeah, that little bit of trigger of that, that spark that sparks the anger of the rest of the thing. You say some horrible stuff. Yeah. You know, that mm -hmm. escalation. Um, so I think we're, we're doing pretty good. Let's get, um, let's get, uh, Ethan in here. Ethan's gonna be our camera op. So he's gonna pop in, and then while we kind of read through, maybe talk about stuff a little bit more, he's going to be moving the camera around, kind of like, seeing what he thinks should be in the shot. What's up? What's up? Hmm? Not good. Okay. Right. Bye. Cool. Sounds good. Yep. Are these our marks? No, those are no, uh, those, those are for me. I'll talk over those later. Okay. That was for a reference for myself. That I'll get into. Yeah. So we're just y'all feel that you have the blocking. Go to whatever marks you want to go to. Yeah. I just in the in the second time I figured we could do kind of both. Yeah. No problem. So, I'm then we can talk to you. Ethan about seeing he what. So Ethan, I think yeah. so. We're in the kind of letterbox, and I feel like it'd be fun to kind of show different angles. Because there's a certain point where you see me in the mirror, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give too much negative space. This this wall looks like crap. Yeah. Sorry, Layla. Layla is gonna like the set builder is gonna is gonna be like that looks like crap. <laughs> but yeah, kind of play around, and then we can kind of see. Okay. And like just throwing it out there, I'm not really in the mirror at certain po points. Yeah. I feel like one time it could be like kind of fun, just a whip pan to me for that, my first line. Yeah, great idea. Give it a shot, cool. See what it looks like. Um, I know that at the beginning I'm looking into the mirror. Mm -hmm. Is there like an angle that works best for that? Ethan, is there a better angle? Like, so, like, I, I, I don't think totally back. I feel like you should cheat kind yeah. of that way at the very least. Yeah. Because otherwise I'll get it back ahead. Sure. Is this good? That looks pretty good to me. Okay. Cool. Great. Thank All right. You. Let's run it. Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something? What? Well, you don't have permission to use this property for yourself that, like, it doesn't belong to us, too. Jack agrees with you, right? I mean, right, Jack? Besides, Dad would have hated it. Why? It's my opinion. I knew the man well. That is a terrible thing to say. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just... I don't want you to think that you were better friends with him than we were, or something weird like that. Plus, you can't leave your wife uh, just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with me too. Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me when he was covered in blood, lying in the street, right before he died. How was that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Francis! Yes. Here's your belt! Cool. You know what I noticed, Dan? Yep. Um, I come back here and there's like no real business for me to, to be doing. When you go back When there. I go back, yeah. So if you like it that I come back here, I think there should be... Do you feel like there should be something to something interact with? Yeah. Cool. I mean, if there's something in there. Let's see that push up. Hey, it looks like Can a bag. Can you say something there? Yeah. yeah. Just, uh, Right off her. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, so somebody like, you know, maybe they want to actually interact with something. It's off screen, but like just the fact of actually touching something kind of 
helps the actor, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, um, speaking of which, I have been doing a lot of business with this razor and a little bit with the glasses. Has that been good, bad, more or less? Yeah, I mean, I think I really like the way you came out. I feel like if we're gonna challenge people, maybe like, if you end here, and then you hear Francis, she kind of like whips out, if you like follow that movement, that'd be really cool. cool. Maybe give a little, a little pizzazz. And um, yeah, let's, let's whip to me for that, my reaction. Yep. Okay. I think that'd be cool. Well, anything else that you felt timing wise, you, you liked hitting certain things? Were you able to like, yeah. if you're all the way here for my reaction, I feel like you'll be able to see me shrug. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Other than that, I'm feeling where the action is, I like. Yeah, I think when we move camera right, it's a good opportunity for you to like slither up, and I think that that's, mm -hmm. that kind of works out. Do you think it looks better if I slither up on camera? Oh, also, do I need to be shorter if you're whipping to me? Let me try that. Let's see, so we'll whip, and we're gonna assume that I'm we're taller than over here. Yeah, looks like you're a little bit too tall. Not right everyone's right five four like me. <laughs> it's right about here? Yeah, that looks great. All right, cool. Okay. How are we feeling? Um, I would actually like to make a request, if it's possible. Yeah, okay. Um, can we do a little bit of figuring out sort of the fight choreo of hitting her in the face with the belt for real? Totally, yeah. So one of the things I wanted to bring up with everybody was um, Rebecca is actually a props person. So I had her bring um, a couple of things that could double as um, a belt. So actually, let's, let's do this over here and let's let Neil come in and start lighting. Sure, can we do that? Uh, do you want me to present, or do you want to present this, and then I just kind of light independently? Um, you're pretty quick. You, I don't want to waste all the time. <laughs> Alright, so uh, you're going to present, I'm just going to light. Yeah, yeah. cool. During downtime, we'll, uh, we'll uh, hug me. So Neil is the director of photography, so he's already thought about kind of the way he wants the lights. So he knows he wants something over top, and then he's worried about maybe me getting some light. So I think he has another light that he wants to use, and then we thought it would be fun to have this light kind of be a little kicker inside the doorway there. So I think that's what he's gonna kind of kind of do, give you a little play-by-play. -play. And then do you want to talk about fake belts? I would love to talk about fake belts. I am oh. gonna do a quick uh, prop thing right now. So, hello, I have props. Um, this is obviously a scene from film that is real that we are sort of recreating. It's not 100% true to the original Wes Anderson, but we are putting our own spin on it. And one of the important things in the scene is getting hit in the face with a belt. Now, uh, for that, we have these nice, soft, light strips of leather that I brought in. They don't have any stitching, they don't have any buckles, they don't have any metal on them, but they are still strips of leather that are roughly belt size. Um, and in a minute, like we said, as I stop talking to you all about this. And also, you want to clear the set if you're going to bring in stuff for light and stuff. Um, we're going to do a little bit of, like, rehearsing the fight choreography so that you can see, like, we're doing this safely. Um, same thing with this straight razor. It is a real straight razor, but it does not have a blade in it, you know? Um, so it's obviously still authentic looking because it is real. We just took out all the stuff that isn't helpful. Um, these glasses, also not magnifying. Yes, these injuries, not real. It's not real. <laughs> poorly <Yeah>. done. <laughs> it's not poorly done. So which, which stuff do we feel like that? Yeah, so, um, well, I'm thinking about the outfit. So I'm also thinking about think the outfit. In my head, this version of the Dark Really Limited is happening on like a cruise ship. It's very like yeah, this is like a porthole window. Short, it's, it's just yeah, it's a, it's a. It's I don't know. Different. I like we. I like this one. Mm -hmm. I think that'll pop more against yeah. the red. The, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's also a little scrappy. It's a little scrappy. Yeah. You are wearing more black under that blue, but we're trying to yeah not have that be a thing stick with the pastels. So yeah, we're gonna go with this one. It is strip of leather. It is relatively safe. And yeah, feels like suede. Feels like suede. Um, and now, I'm gonna get hit. So we're back going to, oh, do you wanna, do you wanna yeah. go? Yeah, yeah, why not? Well, while that's happening, 
I might as well do a little bit of fight choreography while we're here, you know. Um, uh, okay, let's switch positions because I yes. come out this way and that makes more sense. All right, and you're on this side a little bit, so yeah, we're going to get a this angle. So obviously we're not on the set, but there is that door in the way. There are ways to do things safely. There are ways to do things not safely. Unfortunately, I know you very well and I know what you can take. So the step of figuring out what is safe and what is not. Yeah, it did definitely vary from person to person. Yeah. Uh, um, but the first thing is we're going to see, like, verbally, are you okay with me gently throwing this in your face? That's correct, I am. Great, cool. So, we're gonna start like super close. Super close, 25% speed and intensity, five. Nice. Good? Yeah. Okay. One minute. There's also sort of the matter of how is it going to look best and be safest? Because if we put this up into a ball and I just tuck it like a softball that's going to hurt more, then you're going to lose the effect of it being in the ball. Which is why having it sort of bundled like this instead and unfurling it as it goes means there's going to be less weight and momentum and Hear me up. also oh. you know you can see the full length of the belt instead of just a right. so I'll give you the approximate distance I've been standing a little bit closer but I feel safe enough that yeah. you're gonna you know just send this to the anyone else? anyone else? good luck everybody else thank you <laughs> please if you already splashed on you all signed waivers <laughs> for this you knew it would be a dangerous day alright I'm gonna try 50% yeah go ahead that was acting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the safe word is this isn't acting. Great. <laughs> 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 right. Try full speed. Yeah. You want to give me the line? Hey, Francis, here's your belt. Ah! Oh! Great. Perfect. You feel safe and good about that? That's great about it. Um, fight choreography, especially if somebody's actually getting hit with something, rehearsing it as many times as possible is always better mm -hmm. than not. You're better off having, you know, a hundred quick tries under your belt as, as, as opposed to one. Sure. Frequently on sets, you'll have stunt coordinators and um, combat supervisors, but things like a 48 hour film festival, you might have to do with just being very, very clear and communicative with your team mm -hmm. um, if you don't have something for a speci specialized position. <laughs> and honestly, I would recommend if you don't have anyone who has some level of fight choreography on your team, that's not the day to figure it out. Yeah, that's actually <laughs> a really good piece of advice. You can probably figure out a creative way to not have it if you're not yeah, comfortable right, doing yeah. it. Do it off camera, mm -hmm. do some sort of other shot. Yeah, yeah totally. So um, Aaron's going to come in and uh, talk about uh, laving people up. Woo! Great. See how the mic situation. Great. This actually works out pretty great because everybody here has a variety of different outfits and you're going to go first because you're standing sure. here. So you're actually wearing a lighter shirt, which yeah. is interesting. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop this down your back. Sure. Do you mind if I drop, drop it down the tank? No, go right ahead. Pull back the tank, drop it down for the weight so that way it goes down quickly. It's going to reach in. Things up and around, let that hang for a moment while I clip the mic on. If the actor ever wants the mic themselves, by all means, let's just let him do it. Even if they do it wrong, <laughs> because then you can correct them. Or, 
when they find out that they end up in, uh, they're going to end up in ADR for a while, then that's where they learn. Mm. All right, so um, I am going to snake it down the strap a little bit. Sure. And tape to inside the tank. Do you mind if I reach inside yep, the tank? Right ahead. Roots. Is that just electrical shit on the other one? No, this is actually moleskin with um, super stick tape. So super stick is like top stick, which is a wig tape technically. Um, and we all started using top stick, and I think that the wig companies caught on, so they raised the price. Oh no. Yeah. So we then just start a uh, company, I forget what they're called, but they made something called Super Stick. So That's Super Stick? This is Super Stick, yep. It doesn't stick the skin very really well, but you, I rarely ever try it. Like I'm thinking about you, but you're not particular. Yeah. Like this is a particular Also, we did check too, is uh, allergies. Not everything is latex based, but it's worth checking regardless. So, it's not an exact science, but there we go. That's one mic, so you're all set. All right, now. great, thank you. And you are next. Hi, Ben. Do I have that now? Okay. I'm going to have you drop this down the inside of your shirt for me. Front and back. Front. And that will go ahead and lose all my tape. Okay. And I'm going to have you. Do you mind if I reach inside of the shoulder for it? Shoulder? Uh, left or right? Um, when you're standing, is your your camera left or camera right? Um, right. I'm right. I'm sorry. Right. My left and my right are nope. right. Okay. So you're standing by the mirror. Yeah, right? I'm standing okay. by the mirror. All right. So that means it's also good information to know because if the actor's going to be looking in one particular direction and the mic's over here, it's not going to be nearly as useful as having it on the correct side. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going to reach into your right side. Oh, you don't even go that far. Ah. So this too is a little light, so we have to be careful how much tape we put on it because I'm just going to use this as an example. If I put it right here and you turn towards the good people, you can see the huge wrinkle that the tape is making. So you have to be careful how much tape you use. So I have handy dandy little kid scissors in your kit. Try to cut it down as much as humanly possible. Literally, just scissors I bought from staples. They don't need to be super, super um, sharp. They just need to be able to cut tape a little bit. So what we're going to try to do is hide it behind this other piece of fabric. And then do you mind if I just reach in closer? Go for it. You put the lamp away from the camera. Yeah, so you the other side? Are you, you're facing the mirror the entire time, right? I am you facing... Oh, okay. Yes. This is right. Thank you, for, thank you everybody. This is what happens when you don't pay attention to the scene. <laughs> so, so the you, mic is closer to the camera. The mic oh, is closer to the If she's looking at the mirror and turned this yes. way, the mic is that way. So it's where she's talking. It's more about where, where she is. And it's never going to be exact. I mean, she is going to turn and talk forward and different stuff, so... It's never an exact science, and there's always things that are going to change. Yay! Maybe you might like to put this in the back of your shorts. Absolutely. Well, tuck in some of the excess people. So we're going to see the pack a little bit, but that's only because I didn't bring body straps and stuff like that. That's the, the one thing we're going to fudge this time around. Demonstration purposes. Demonstration purposes. Let's like thank Aaron for doing this. I told him Woo! about this this morning, and he uh, was just like, "Yeah, cool. I'm down." Your turn. Sure. All right. Last one. Button ups are the best because you can go right between the buttons like this. Which I would say, if you're ever watching anything where somebody's wearing a button up or a tie, let's say nine times out of ten, it's usually between buttons or inside of the tie. I'm gonna have you drop this down right here. Here. So there's two ways we can do this. He's actually wearing a dark shirt, which works in my favor. Clip this in the back of your pants. Let hang for just a moment. I can do one of two things. I can either tape it 
right inside. Like this. Great. Or if you want to get real sneaky, and it takes a little bit more effort, but it's worth it. Let me know when my time's up, too. Yeah. No, I think we're good. Take I think it. we just we had to move along. All right. That was, that was my bad. Oh, wow. Take it, and then you tuck it behind the button. That doesn't usually rustle against the button. It does not. Oh. The buttons don't move, my friend. Yeah, right. The buttons do not move. And then, if you very careful how you tape it in. What I have to And that works a lot better than the black button, eh? Yeah, exactly. Cool. So, it's not... You know, just like that. Cool. We'll tuck in some cable. Bring it over. Mm -hmm. It's all set to go. So that's liking for three different styles of outfits. Can you also do, you can also do like, hide it in here, or is that what It's not great, especially yeah. with guys, because yeah, of nothing. stubble. You get a lot of stubble noise up against it, so it's not ideal. Not really. I, I mean, like but really, work. if something's not working, try something else. Uh, to an extent. Mm -hmm. Actors don't always love when you're fidgeting with a costume. Totally. Really, really close on them at the mm -hmm. same time, which actors don't always love. They're trying to get into character, they're trying to get into the scene. The, most, the best thing you can do is just get in, do something, and get out. If you have to make a tweak later, do it right before you go. Cool, yeah, and if you want to talk about a little about the boom, too, if you want. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I think Neil so just needs, like, a couple more minutes. Yeah, we're going to hard line into this, and I'm going to make some spaghetti here on the ground, <laughs> because I didn't bother to un undo this beforehand. Um, we're going to use a little bit more of a forgiving mic on this, a uh, cardioid mic. And what that means is it's still pretty directional, but you have to be closer to the person and say something like, Shotgun mic like this. Jeez. I waffle between two different mics typically on shoots, but I also leave it up to the the boom up to also choose what he wants to use, he or she wants to use. Um, in the past couple productions, uh, uh, the boom up has just gone with this one, the Sennheiser SM58. Yeah, SM58. Uh, MKH50. Sorry, I got SM58 it's on mind. Um, and just because he's used to it, he likes the way it sounds, and if he's, if he's happy with it, then I'm happy with it. So we are going to have people come out here, and we don't have too much camera movement, which is good, and it seems like everybody is relatively close. Yep, we're just going to do one whip to meeting right. over here, back, and then it's just kind of back and rise-ish. So the thing we have to be careful of, because we have this mirror, is making sure that we, ourselves, are not physically over here, and being aware of all these shadows. This is actually not great for booming, to be honest with you. <laughs> we got all sorts of stuff in the walls. But this is also something you, these are things that you have to suss out beforehand too. Because you can't just come in last minute and be like, oh, there we go, and then look at this. You get this, this, get stuff over here, right down the middle, and then a big one right across the wall simultaneously. So, this might be a situation, honestly, where a person might not be doing anything to be honest. Well, they'll get an arm workout. <laughs> well, I have a line. Is it going to pick me up from there? Um, what, what? Do you want to spin? Yellow? I don't know. To be honest, there's, there's shadows literally everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's I think I picked the wrong paint. I think I no, no, it's not the paint. Uh, it's your, actually the lighting, because you have harsh lighting coming directly down. Yeah. So, and, uh, this is, uh, so we did skip a few steps that uh, yeah. we should have done in advance. Uh, sure. So uh, one of the things is, uh, Looks good. usually there's a communication that kind of happens uh, as soon as blocking is done. Yep, Between, sorry, I was trying to go a little quicker because I was running out of time. And sometimes this is what happens, you rush into stuff and you just, hey, you gotta make your time. Yep. You gotta just throw things in there. What I call this is broad strokes. A guy named Jim Purchase, who I work with a lot, he, for me, when we start in the beginning of the day, um, we have an idea about how we want to do stuff. We have an idea where the lights are going to go, we have an idea how to tweak certain things here, and then I have to go away and I have to prep camera, I have to talk to the director, I have to look over certain kind of shots. I do a lot of product stuff in particular, look at the toys or the products that I'm working with. 
And then I have uh, my team give me broad strokes. And then for the broad strokes, that's where we start doing our tweaking. So, Aaron, um, in particular, uh, obviously I did do a lot of top light in order to light actors here. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm wondering if there's anything that you feel could be tweaked in order to help you out a little bit. No. Well, realistically on set, that's rarely going to happen. <laughs> rarely will Gaffer, come, Gaffer he can come up to you after the fact and go, uh, how can we change yeah. things to help I, you? I, I, don't, I, I, I want to kind of give a little uh, more cause there because as Ben kind of said as well too earlier, it's like if, if the movie sounds better, it can look better as well too. I mean, realistically, this might just be a situation where you can only get one, yeah. one person. Okay. So now, out of curiosity, though, so you, I'm gonna. Um, so what I have is I have these lights currently paired to my phone, mm -hmm. and I'm going to see if there is a certain point that we could adjust in order to make your life a little easier. I mean, they would have to. The literal angle would have to change, which I can do. Okay. Uh, that that is where my knowledge of lighting. There we go. Uh, yeah. I am, I I am a simple sound man. Mm -hmm. This I think is a really really great working example of why it's so important for there to be interdisciplinary relationships, interdepartmental relationships, where you know a little bit about what's going on in the other department, so you're able to communicate more effectively, more expediently, and it makes everybody's life just mind, yeah. so much easier, and everybody's happier. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, can you, uh, before I noticed we were getting shadow on Rebecca, can you get your boom in there uh, again? Because now currently I have a, I just have this source on over here. It's looking like we see shadow on the wall, but is that in our frame? To me, the answer is, uh, yeah, it is, is over there if it dips. Dan, could yep. we afford to go higher on Dana and then tilt down for this? This way we won't see that boom shadow. It's going to be easier sure. for everybody. Yeah, that's fine. Hands. Yep. Locking. Yep. Locking. Cool. How's uh, level on left and right for the Dana? Are you finding any resistance? Right on. Cool. So let's tilt down. Now we're can you go? Can you go even more, Dan? Where? Tilt down more. Oh. Cool. I just don't want to see the floor. Right. I think we'll. Uh, can we zoom in a little bit? I, yeah, I don't want to. Okay, sure. And as, as a director as well too, director's creativity overrules a lot of stuff because this is at the end of the day, they have the idea about what's going on as well too. Even if there's like, it's like, hey, it would be better, but no, director yeah. wants it this way. There is a thing that maybe I'm not thinking about as well too, that he's thinking about that we got to kind of keep going on. So, um, yeah, this... sorry, just to keep things moving, let's go with limited boom mm -hmm. and then let's put this back down. I like it better where it was. Right on. Totally fine. Ready? Yep. Was it right here? Um, yeah, probably about right there. Should have brakes on that. Uh, okay, cool. I think it's better. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I like that. Right on. I think I think we can work with this. Let's. Uh... Okay. So in that case, uh, I would like to see a full rehearsal, please. Cool. And uh, Lauren, Rebecca. Yeah. A little unconventional, but I kind of want to tweak my lights as y'all are doing the rehearsal. Is that going to mess you up at all? Um, as long as I have clearance. Sure. I'm as in, I'm going to adjust the levels of the lights with my phone. I'm not going to be walking in set. Oh, then. Huh. My, I don't know what my monkey brain is gonna do, but I'm gonna try to. Nah. You could put on disco lights as long as I know what's happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right on. Can you want to come in? Yep. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that would make a lot of sense. What's that? Uh, do we get Ethan in the mirror? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Come this way. No, that's me. Cool, right on. That's me in the mirror. Cool. That's me in the spotlight. That's me? No, no, we're not doing this. No, he's an actor. Yeah, he is a, he's actually in the scene. <laughs> no problem. I'm sorry. Oh, good. Um, actually, I'd like you to, like, enter, I think. Yeah. For a matter of fact, yeah, I think that'd be good. Alright, so let's, um, yeah, I'm gonna, let's, uh, sorry, this man, man, I'm gonna go yeah. in with a little bit yes. of fire. Cool. Oh, sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and action. Is that 
dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something? What? You don't have permission to take dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it as, his, as if it's just yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Plus, dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. I knew him well. See, that's a terrible thing to say. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that I... I don't want you thinking that you were better friends with him than we were, or something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with me, too. Uh, stop it. Uh, <laughs> stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me when he was covered in blood, lying in the street, right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Francis! Here's your bill! Ah! Name cut. How do we feel about that? That was a good, good amount of fire. I like that. Yeah. yeah. Neil, how are you feeling? I think it kind of looks good, like low key, like a little darker. Yeah. Just a little darker. darker uh, again, I'm uh, kind of speeding through as we're going, but uh, actually, Dan, yep. can I see you at the final mark, please? So I'm down a little bit? I'm hoping I'm not looking like Yeah, I'm right over there. I want my passport back. <laughs> so I think Dan in particular. He could be a little, he could be a little brighter, I think. <laughs> I didn't say. But it, it also, he does have a little different complexion than Rebecca as well, too. So it's kind of coming in differently where he's looking darker in general. So I can see that the edge light that we have going on here is kind of lighting Dan a little bit more. Teach Wait, Those were chalk. Make this a little bit hotter, I think I've got to okay with that. This is kind of one where, like, when, when you don't have a lot of time, you kind of do what you can, set, uh, set the levels at where you can. There's this uh, one thing I heard, I forget who told me this, it was a VP that said, try to get 70% of the way there after this. Because you're not going to get 100% there a lot of time. If you can get 70% of the way there, then at least you have a secret. Hmm. And at least people can shoot and people are going to be happy. So, Dan, I, I think that we are there. You're good? Like, you feeling good? All right, cool. So let's, um... Let's rip one. Does I just want to get. Does somebody want to boom? Yeah, I want to. I want to get some people in. So I want to do one. Aaron, let's just do one um, all together. Okay. Rolling, and um, and then we can let people in. Okay. Yeah. yeah so yeah, you're up. You're up. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, you can do it. For, uh, yeah. Let's have, yeah. Let's have Aaron do it first. Right, either way, I still gotta run away and go. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I understand. Looks too good. Are you? You gotta say. Uh, let's just. Yeah. I don't think we have time. <laughs> Forget it. All right. Happened. Bobby, just wait for Aaron in the back. Back. All right, and settle. Settle, please. Raz. Raz. Quiet on set. All right, and rolling. Rolling. And action. Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something? What? Well, you don't have permission to just take Dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it as if it's yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Besides, Dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. I knew the man well. See, that's a terrible thing to say. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just, I mean, I don't think you should think that you were better friends with him than we were or something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with that too, right? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me that when he was covered in blood, lying in the street, right before he died. I mean, how is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Francis! Here's your belt! Ah! 
Ah! Cut. Cool. All right. So who wants to do something? <laughs> who wants to run camera? Who thinks they can do the whoosh, the whooshes? I think I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah? Come on up. Come on up. Yes, but So did you see, you saw a playback, you kind of, kind of saw which way to go? You, you're confident? Uh, a little bit. Yeah, well, I know. I just was wondering. Yeah. Yes, on a camera, but uh, it. Cool, let's go back to one. It sounds slightly different. Okay. Oh, Especially if, if you change the angle. Okay. okay. Um, so. <laughs> well, okay, now that you say it, yeah, we're I'll here. do my best. All right, and let's go action. Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something? What? You don't have permission to take Dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it as if it's just yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Besides, Dad would have hated it. Why? It's my opinion. I knew the man well. See, that's a terrible thing to say. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean... I don't want you to think that you knew dad better or were better friends with him than we were or something weird like that. Also, you can't just leave your wife because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with me too, right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me when he was covered in blood, lying in the street right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Why? Hey, Francis! What? Here's your best. Ah! Fuck! Cut. How'd you feel? Good. Good, good? <laughs> <laughs> How'd you think you did? Oh, it was great. And I think it was also good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I noticed that you didn't really like, you could move a bit, yeah. you know? But, you know, good whip, not bad. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Nice job. Yeah, no <laughs> Great job. Yeah, anybody else want to go? There we go, come on. Yeah, come on up. You can take one more belt to the face, right? I need one more. <laughs> come yeah. on, what am I, an yeah, amateur? This pretty... Yeah, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then also, if you're down here, you kind of see me in the mirror, maybe catch a real, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm doing how sensitive it is going left, right, too. Yeah, the Dana doll is meant to be really smooth. gliding around here. Oh, yes, it's really smooth. Really smooth. His glasses, bitch. Oh, what? yeah, yeah. What? What? Something different. Big hardware is like. Cool. All right. I don't think cool. that worked. I think you gotta hit that oh, again. Okay. And I'm just gonna roll for you. All right. And action. Whoa, is that dad's razor? Yeah. Can I say something, please? What? You don't have permission to take dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it like it's yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Plus, dad would have hated it. Why? I, that's my opinion, I knew the man well. See, that's a terrible thing to say. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean, I don't want you to think that you were better friends with him or something weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack agrees with that, doesn't he? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me. He told me when he was covered in blood, lying in the street right before he died. <laughs> now, how is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Why? Hey, Francis! Why? Here's your belt! Ah, ow! I can't forget I didn't have a reaction there. Whoops. Uh, cut! <laughs> cool. How'd it feel? Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Yeah, yeah. So, Gives you a different, yeah. different veal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Truly, truly. Yeah, when you're up this high, you're not cool. gonna get anything. Okay. Yeah, so I was trying to watch the camera. It's doing different yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch, watch yeah. The camera now. Right, that's what I was trying to figure out where it was coming in. Right, right. That's, that's, yeah. I didn't realize that. And you can, yeah. you can also step out further. You don't yeah. need to be behind that's the camera. That's what I wanted to be. It's the one thing. Yep, for like the big Sure. How much of it is like left for the camera? I'll try to 
hit the marks and try and put their own spin on it. You guys like well, following the teachings and directing. <laughs> Depends, uh, you know, the, the famous, <laughs> famous it depends, but you know, some, some people that I've worked with have been like, you know, ooh, however you feel, and they're watching a monitor, they go, oh, that's great, and other times they can be really, really picky. Right. I bet you can run into that with gimbal stuff too, where it's like, I'm getting tired, I'm trying so many times, but, you know, I, I picked this scene specifically just to give like some, some different elements and, you know, a little bit of challenge. Right. Any comments on booming? Oh, we're right. yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. And then uh, who wants to do a uh, camera? Oh. Switching it up. Mm -hmm. like it. Somebody on boom? Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can come back later. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so let me roll for you. Bring your head closer. So notice that if you come over here, maybe you see me, and then kind of over here, maybe you see them a little more. So, like, that's kind of your play, but. Yeah. Keep, uh, All right. And action. Oh, Oops, sorry. Go ahead. Turn your hand around. There you go. There you go. And bring back hand up a little bit. There you go. Better. There you go. All right. Cool. And action. Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Hmm. Can I say something? What? You don't have permission to take Dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it like it's yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Plus, Dad would have hated it. Why? It's my opinion. I knew the man well. <laughs> See, that's a terrible thing to say. Well, I didn't mean it like that. All I meant was that I... I don't think you should think that you were better friends with him than we were or anything weird like that. Also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant, and Jack agrees with that too, right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me. When he was covered in blood, lying in the street, okay. right before he died. Now, how is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Why? Francis! Here's your belt! Oh, ow! And cut. <laughs> Acting. Hi. Cool. cool. Crazy. How do you feel? You feel like you yeah. actors say acting Felt and powerful. have a model. <laughs> Listen to that. <laughs> Who wants to do it next? It <laughs> might feel powerful. <laughs> yeah. Does anyone want to try that? You you wanted to try camera, right? Yeah. Hop right in. Face. Yeah. So glad I actually shaved off some of my eyebrow. Yeah. Yes. Right. You look like a crip. I'm. <laughs> Right, are you? And Am I a crip? No, no are, you <laughs> are you glad you asked? <laughs> Aaron, let me know if we're rolling. Oh, we are still rolling. All right, cool. And we're rolling cameras, so we can go action. What? Is that Dad's razor? Yeah. Huh. Can I say something? What? Mm, you don't have permission to just take dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it like it's yours. And Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Plus, dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. And I knew the man well. See, that's a terrible thing to say. Well, I didn't mean it to be. All I mean is that I don't think you should think you were better friends with him than we were or something weird like that. Also... I you can't just leave your wife because she's pregnant and Jack agrees with me too. Right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me okay. when he was covered in blood, lying in the street right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Francis, here's your ah! fuck! And cut. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good take all around. <laughs> there we go. Cool. How was it? Yeah. You good? Yeah, this is sweet. That's kind of fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody else want to jump in, do something? Get hit in the face with them. Yeah, come on up. Oh. Cool, cool. Think you can hit all the beats? I think so. Give it a try. Can I get the feel for get a, get a feel. Get a feel, yep. Yeah, you gotta go. Too much of a roll.
Are you doing this when you talk? I do. Yeah, it's just thinking the same thing. Relax about it. I kind of see Mike. I see, in, I see you know, where you're thinking. Kind of moving this way. We're kind of drifting. I like, wait, I see what you're doing. <laughs> 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 I, look, I, I like what I see. Right, so like over you here, okay. I was right. saying like if we hit the beat where I do something, you can see me in the mirror going like, I don't agree with that. The right? first one. The first one. Yeah. Then you can kind of move out. And then when you're further out, I feel like the whip is easier to me because you're a little further away from me yeah. <laughs> and not right in my, my yeah. face. But yeah, I want, I want you to go back and forth, feel, feel, feel the cinema. Do whatever feels right. Why do accents give you so much power? They, they give really you so much power. Do. They just do. They just do. <laughs> yeah. Everybody so trusts the European. Come <laughs> on. Well, yeah. All yeah, right, I mean. <laughs> not the English. Let me know no. when you're ready. Break out of chance. Oh, back. Did you ready? <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, let's go, uh, let's go action. Was that dad's razor? Yep. Mm, can I say something? What? Well, you don't have permission to take dad's property that belongs to all of us and use it like it's just yours. Right, Jack? Plus, Dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion. I knew the man well. See, that's a terrible thing to well, say. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just, I mean, I don't think you should think that you were better friends with him than we were <laughs> or something weird like that. And also, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. And Jack agrees with me on that too, right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. And he told me so when he was covered in blood, okay. lying in the street right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. Hey, Francis, here's your belt. Ah, damn. And cut. No? No, not on my part. Oh, what, do you feel, what do you feel like you did? What do you need? Would, uh, well, the, um, it's cut on you. I think Damn. the first one, you were kind of like back further. Yeah. And not, but then we had to go. Thank you, five. And then at the end, yeah, I think I didn't do Rebecca, or, um, give her enough room over on the side. Yeah, yeah. You get hit with the belt. So. Yeah, yeah. But does anybody want to try? Yeah, come on up. Excellent. So yeah, kind of get a feel for it. I feel like if you're over here, you see me in the mirror. Isn't that a great shot right there of me? Come on. I get a little reaction if you want. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, I could give it a shot. Yeah, why not? And then Don't have to blow off either side. Yeah, focus on side. Yeah, focus is just good to go. Yep. And yeah. And I feel like the whip, if you end up over here, yeah. it's yeah, less in my, you know what I mean? Like if you're over there whipping. Yeah. That's more better. All right. You actually, your head's heading to the top of the frame. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be lower. All right. Okay. But then if you're there. Yeah. Yeah, you do still show up in there. Okay. Cool. All right. Where do you want to start? I would start with maybe, hey, whatever you want. Okay. All right, let's go, uh, let's go action. Is that dad's razor? Yep. Can I say something? Yeah. What? You don't have permission to take his property that belongs to all of us and use it like it's yours. Jack agrees with me, right, Jack? Yes. Plus, dad would have hated it. Why? That's my opinion, I knew the man well. That is a terrible thing to say. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. I just mean, I don't think you should think you were better friends with him than we were. Ah, or something weird like that. Plus, you can't leave your wife just because she's pregnant. Jack uh, agrees with me too, right, Jack? Stop including me. I was his favorite. He told me when he was covered in blood, lying in the street right before he died. How is that supposed to make us feel? I want my passport back. What? Hey, Francis! 
Here's your belt. Ah! Oh. Ow. And cut. <laughs> How do you like it? That's fine. You think you hit? A little bit. Yeah, right. Somebody, Takes a little practice. I wish I, I wish I had more time. We, uh, we blew too much uh, time. That's okay. That's so okay. what do we have? No, uh, we have none we have minutes. Zero. zero. Okay. Yeah. All right. We have to move chairs. And stuff. Yep. This is awesome. All right. Cool. Thank you so much, Dan.